Hello and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Tay Chichu. I don't know what I'm doing, I will never know what I'm doing, and that's what I'm using as an intro. Welcome back to my Oct October Spooktacular 31 Days of Spooky. I'm gonna just never have the same name for any of these videos, or am I? <laughs> Today's video, um, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite Pokemon for Halloween. This isn't a top 10 favorite list overall. These are just kind of like creepy Pokemon that I think fit my Halloween narrative the best. I know everyone has a different list. Uh, like I said, I really like Halloween. I really like um, spooky Pokemon. I like spooky stuff. So that's why I decided to make this list because these are my top 10 favorite Halloween Pokemon and I want to share it with you guys because I think that's fun. <laughs> for number 10, we're just going to get right into it. For number 10, uh, I have Banette. Banette is kind of creepy and fun in its own little way. I like the lure behind it, how it was abandoned by a child, um, and essentially it wanted revenge, so it turned into a ghost Pokemon, and I think that that is super cool. I also like the episodes that have to do with Banette turning trainers into dolls, just kind of messing with uh, I think it was an X and Y, messing with the trainers, turning them into dolls, just kind of being that mischievous Pokemon, especially in it was it deriv derived from a stuffed animal, which is something that clearly I have many of, and that's why I like it too. I think it's creepy. I think it's fun. I think it's just something to kind of play with and have fun with. So that's why I have Banette. It's it's number ten because I like other Pokemon designs more, but that's why I have Banette at ten. Number nine, I have Dragapult. I know, I know, Dragapult really needs to be higher on this list, but it's not because I like other Pokemon more for Halloween, for my Halloween vibes. I do love Dragapult, I really do. It's a ghost dragon type Pokemon. I really want the big Dragapult. I love the design of it. I also love the fact that it has, you know, little Dreepies coming out of it. I love how Dreepy literally looks like a spirit. I think it's creepy, I think it's lovely. <laughs> And I love the design of uh, Dragapult. I would love a Dragapult in a real Pokemon world, you know. I think it's fun. I think it's cool. I wish it had better lore. But I think that, and that's why it's not higher on the list. I would love if it had better lore. But, you know, I, I do love myself a good Dragapult. It's definitely in my top 10 favorite ghost Pokemon. And this uh, list is not just ghost Pokemon. It's Halloween Pokemon. So that's why it's not higher as well. Number eight on my list is Golbat. You can't have Halloween without a good bat. And why Golbat? Tay, why would you have Golbat on your list at all when you are in a cave and you just keep running into Zubats and Golbats? Um, this season, I've really started to appreciate Golbat a little more. I bought a Golbat setting cutie. I want to just do a look as Golbat for Halloween in general. I just think that it's a cool Pokemon that's underrated, and I want to do a look on it. I think it's cute, I like the colors, and I like how big its mouth is, and I think it's cool. I like Golbat more than Crobat, because I think Crobat's overrated, so that's why I like Golbat. <laughs> Golbat is also, like, an underrated, like, bat queen, so. And like I said, bats are one of my favorite aspects of Pokemon, so that's why I had to have Golbat on this list. For number seven, we have another bat Pokemon. This one is more fuzzy and more cute. It's Woobat. I love the name Woobat because woo! I think that it's a very cute Pokemon. It's fluffy. It doesn't, it can't really see. It's got a cute little nose. It's just, and I love Swoobat as well, but like Woobat, Woobat is so cute. It's so freaking cute. I, I can't get over its design. It's got a cute nose. I have a plush of it. It's so fuzzy. It's adorable. I, I have a soft spot in my heart for Woobat. That's why I like it more than Golbat. Woobat's just like that soft little, soft little baby. But yeah, Woobat. Number seven. <laughs> Number six is Drowsy. And the reason I have Drowsy on this list, I have Drowsy because of its lure. Drowsy is the dream eater Pokemon, where essentially it goes into, I think the lore is that it goes into children's dreams and eats the dreams and like, not kills the kids in the dreams, but it's just kind of like, it's like a nightmare Pokemon, you know what I mean? It's very creepy. The fingers, you cannot stop the fingers. It's a creepy Pokemon. I really want the Drowsy sitting cutie, and I might kill someone for it <laughs> but um I think it's really cute and I think it's fun I think that it's a cool Pokemon that I want a plush of sorry there's a fly I love the lure behind it because I love spooky Pokemon lore like I talked about with Bennett drowsy is like that perfect creepy the fingers just mysteriousness you know that's why I think it's a great Pokemon for Halloween 
Number five is Sableye. I love Sableye's design. I don't know much about its lore. I want to learn more. I want to create lore for it. Um, but Sableye, it also has the fingers going. <laughs> like, in, like, the little, uh, sprites or the little, like, things of it. It just keeps going like this. I also really like the fact that Sableye, when it opens its mouth, its teeth are very sharp, which kind of show, like, another side of it. Or Sableye without the teeth is just kind of like gems. And I also really like gems. Like, ge I love the crystals. I love gems. And that's why I like the design of Sableye as well, where you can't really see life inside it because its eyes are just gems and it doesn't have actual pupils that you can see into its soul with. And I think that that's really cool, and especially when it opens its mouth and you see those sharp teeth, I think that that's perfect design of a ghost Pokemon being super, super creepy. It's also a good Pokemon in VGC. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I'm mentioning that, but Sableye, that's why Sableye is number five on my Halloween list. Ah. Number four, because I also love pumpkins, is Pumpkaboo. Pumpkaboo has some cool lore where it's like, hey, there isn't a single Pumpkaboo that's the same size, because that's literally like how pumpkins are. Um, I think that it's really cool. I think it's really cute. I, I gained a lot of respect for Pumpkaboo when I watched um, X and Y and I saw Jesse have a Pumpkaboo. I didn't like Gorgeist as much. Um, I mean, I thought it was cool, but it wasn't as cool as what Pumpkaboo is. Pumpkaboo is very cute. I really love pumpkins. I want to do like some pumpkin looks for Halloween. Um, it's just a very cute Pokemon. It's cute. Not all two are, no two are the same size. You can either have a really big, really small, or in the middle. And I have, I believe, I think I have two Pumpkaboo plushes. One's from GameStop. The other one is a bootleg, and it's a shiny one. Shiny Pumpkaboo is also really, really cute. For number three, this shouldn't come as a shock. It is Mimikyu. I love Mimikyu. Like I said, I love the design of it. I love Pikachu. I love the typing of it, Ghost and Fairy. And along with some of the other Pokemon that I've discussed, it does have creepy lore to it where no one has seen what is actually under the rag that looks like Pikachu. I think that it's interesting that nobody knows and the person that who did look under it has died. I think that it's creepy. I think it's fun and I think that's everything that Halloween is. Halloween is just full of mysteries and that's what I really like because things that pique my interest keep my interest. I can't stand things being boring and Halloween, Halloween is never boring in my opinion and I think especially with Mimikyu you can create your own lore, you can do whatever. This Why did this Pokemon pick Pikachu? You know because it was popular but it was lonely but is it really that lonely because it's so scared i don't i love it it's so cute i have so many plushes of mimikyu and i can do with so much more <laughs> but yeah that's why i like mimikyu and that's why i said number three so number two now this pokemon isn't really i don't know when you think of a halloween pokemon it might not be on the top of your list but definitely number two on mine especially with the pokemon center um kind of pushing it more and more for like the Halloween and fall season, it's Morpeko. I love Morpeko. Morpeko is like one of my favorite Pokemon, especially dark type Morpeko because, or hangry Morpeko because it's spooky. You, if you don't get this man a snack, the things he is going to do to you are going to be scary. That is the best part. It's got the, those wonderful spooky colors. I like regular Morpeko as well. I think that they have awesome autumn colors and it's probably my favorite um, Pikachu clone where it has the two moves, it has, and I use it a lot in VGC, I just have a lot of love and appreciation for Mopeko, and clearly Pokemon does as well, because in the past two years, they have had Marpeko in the art of the Halloween, like, kind of banquet stuff that they are a part of. So yeah, Marpeko is number two. I, I don't know. <laughs> and number one, I know this isn't gonna come as a shock, but it's Gengar. I love Gengar, he is my big purple boy. Um, he is fun, he is creepy, you know, he, there's lore around, um, Gengar that it stands at light posts and kidnaps children, and I think that there's a lot of mystery behind Gengar where it's mischievous and evil and it's fun, and I need to watch the Pokemon anime because I know Ash finally catches a Gengar, and I know there was also a short about a child turning into Gengar, about a girl turning into Gengar, and I think that's really fun as well. I think it's just kind of fun. He's a fun Pokemon, as you know, as you guys know. It's not a shock that he's my number one Pokemon along with Ditto, so yeah, that's essentially it. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your top 10 Halloween Pokemon list down below. Um, do you guys like ghost Pokemon? Because I love ghost Pokemon. That's why they took up a majority of my list. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you.
in the next one. Okay, bye. Boop.